What's up guys, Max from MaxWorks here, and today we're doing a little upgrade on the Corvette. Now, I bought these off AliExpress. These are LED rear taillights. I paid about $140 for them. They are duplicates of the Morimoto's, which sell for I think about 1,800 to 1,000 bucks for the set. They're very expensive. You can buy other knockoffs on Amazon in the like three to four hundred dollar range but honestly if you're going to do this just get them from overseas they're about 140 bucks for the set now these come with a set of resistors to help uh, control the blink speed uh, these are eight ohm these tend to fail a lot more so my recommendation is to buy 50 watt rated six ohm resistors and we're going to splice these guys in uh, to replace the ones that came with the uh, tail lights. Other than that, everything you need comes in the kit. They are plug and play, or they should be. And the only trick is there's two and two that are back together. They are not interchangeable. So there's two left ones, two right ones. Additionally, we're gonna experiment and see if I like these. Same company makes these. These are uh, amber and red turn signals. I did not realize they were gonna be black with just the color in the LED. I thought they were gonna be uh, just LED versions of the factory one. On my red car, I don't know that if this is gonna look good, but we're gonna try it and just see how it looks. Um, so let me go in the back and we'll take a video and show you guys what the current taillights look like and then we'll swap them in. Uh, the swap should be really, really easy. Just basic R and R. Here in the back, let's see this old. So you can see what the what the taillights look like lit. Now to remove the tail lights, all you need is a T15 Torx. There is one screw here and here at the top of each tail light. Then they should just come right out. And with the screw removed, these just pop right out. You can see the fiberglass on the inside of the bumper there. And now there's just a connector here. And this should just slide right off. And now inside of here, there is a bulb carrier and that is what's going to plug into our new headlights. So we've come across quality issue number one. So this plug goes into this adapter. This adapter is what mates to the car. But as you can see, this has a tri-cut groove just like this one. But here, if you line us up correctly, it screws right in. Whereas here, if we just dump this inside, you can see it just doesn't quite line up correctly. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to use a small file. We're gonna adapt this hole so we can use the factory plugs to make it fit. Now, can you go at this with power tools? Absolutely, but honestly, just a small square uh, bastard file cleans this edge up. And now if we look, pops right in perfectly. And now all we have to do is make our adapter to our new um, resistors and we're good to go to install the first light. Personally, I like to solder this sort of connection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just use the wire strippers, strip back a little bit on each end. Now keep in mind, this is a resistor. So it actually doesn't matter which side is hooked up to which side. And these are very, very thin, pretty small wires. So we're just gonna strip a little bit off. I've already put a piece of heat shrink on the resistor side. And all we're gonna do is just solder this connection. And once that's in place, the other three are just gonna be the exact same thing over and over again. It might be kind of hard to see, but you can see there's a metal bumper down there. And what we've done is we use double-sided tape to secure the resistor down to the bumper. And that'll keep it in place. And here's our little pigtail for the resistor that comes up here. And then here's our pigtail for the headlight, or for the tail, excuse me. And so I'm going to get it installed and show you guys what it looks like. So here you can see what it looks like to have one of them installed. And there's the originals. So let me get the rest of these installed and then we'll see what it looks like complete. So there you can see final project. I don't know if this is even coming through on camera. 
but it's probably hard to tell but they are flashing but overall pretty happy it's cool nice cool look so now let's take a look at these side markers and so removal is pretty easy if you just use these tools and go slowly mine's a texas car so obviously i broke one of the plastic tabs so now we're kind of committed see this bulb was pretty much done as well but now here's our new piece installed and that's kind of what it looks like I don't know that I love it. There's the back. And there's the front. Uh, the more I look at it, the more it grows on me. One little tip I'd recommend is I'm using two plastic shims like this. So I wedge this one in there and then I use this one to work it around. Unfortunately, here in Texas, things get hot. Plastic deteriorates. Not really expecting too much out of them. So I'm gonna swap the other two. They are side to side. So make sure you grab the right one and uh, you can hit the unlock button to test the light because um, the LED does have a polarity. Sometimes you plug it in backwards uh, and make sure that you uh, clip it all the way in so that it stays in there nice and snug. Let's do one more walk around of the car. So overall, I'm pretty happy for the price. They're inexpensive. Um, I think the black side markers are kind of beginning to glow on, grow on me a little bit. Um, the fitment's pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's perfect. They sit a little more proud than the OEM ones. Um, this is an 05 car, so it's a very early car. So that may be a little bit more fitment on my end. But I think it really cleans up the tail of the car. Makes it look a little bit more modern. Um, and I really like the way that it looks. So for 150 bucks all in, it's really uh, a cheap and easy upgrade. That's it. Thanks for watching. Check out my other Corvette videos. I'm Max. This is Max Works. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.